And welcome back, everyone. The first tour win of the new month. We are in the dull, we're in the standard <laughs> uh, schedule again. Uh, we're not in the weeks of or anything like that. So to start things off from Thomas the Terrific, we have who will win the fight? J uh, Jason Crowley. Victor Crowley versus the Creeper. Victor Crowley from the Hatchet series. The Creeper versus Cheaper Creepers. Uh, both these guys have been on the series many, many times. I can kind of do them by heart. I mean, I don't know all of Victor Crowley's background, but I know the basics. He was, I believe he was abused as as a child. I uh, ultimately died in, I believe, his family's home when it burned down. Not burned down, but I believe it did burn. Uh, you know, he was killed in fire, but he came back essentially as a revenant. He's a vengeful spirit. As such, he is kind of impossible to put down permanently. You have to... I do know there was a method they used to put him down permanently. It had to do with, I believe, his remains. Or burning down the house, the remains of the house itself. But uh, even then, there are talks of him coming back. So <laughs> what does that mean to anything, really? But no, as a vengeful spirit, he does have a physical form. He's a revenue. He does have a physical form that can take damage. And he can be killed. It's just anytime you kill him... Anytime you beat, destroy his body enough that he would actually die, he comes back, uh, he reforms at his home, and just continues on again. He is a brick shit house of an individual, immensely strong, uh, capable of tearing a grown man in half. Uh, he constantly he wields multiple weapons, though famously he wields his hatchet. Uh, he has uh, like a spiritual awareness of the swamp itself. He can find your general location. And no matter where you are, so long as you are within his swamp. And he's even got enhanced senses to the point where he even heard a bead of sweat uh, hit the uh, ground. And he attacked the bead of sweat. So he is he is immensely strong, he's immensely powerful, and he's insanely durable. Like, he can still take a lot of damage, and he'll always come back so long as his home is uh, still around. And I guess so as long as the swamp is still around. So right, there you go. Nuke the entire swamp from orbit. And you're fine. <laughs> then you wipe out Victor Crowley. The Creeper's origins to date still have... They've been slowly bringing out the Creeper's origins. Um, I know the guy who directed uh, Polanski is a terrible, terrible person. I believe that's the guy who uh, did those. Uh, the Creeper, Jupiter's Creeper. But um, the, the Creeper's true origins have not, to this day, been revealed. Um, he's, uh, it's implied that he, there might be a demonic nature to him. They may be a demon of some kind. This would be backed up by the fact that he does seem to have a, okay, so wait a minute, hold on, I'm, I'm on the official Jeepers Creepers wiki right now. Apparently, it's an ancient mysterious demon who seeks organs from humans to eat and replace its damaged ones. Okay, it's a demon. All right, never mind then. It is a demon. We, um, well... They call it a demon, but apparently the race is still actually unknown. So, what it is, is still actually up in the air, I guess. Um, it's implies to be hundreds of years old. It was around since, uh, and uh, has been around since man first walked upright, maybe even before then. The comics, uh, comic Jeeper Creeper's Trail of the Beast further explains, explores the history. The Aztecs believed him to be a serpent god, Quetzalcoatl, and he is, is seen accepting and eating human sacrifices. Uh, for rituals, the Cherokee, ah, stupid sight, Cherokee likewise referred to him as Uktena, the most feared and respected of all dark creatures, and formed a similar method of keeping him appeased. He's also revealed to be responsible for the disappearance of the Rorna colonists. Uh, anyway, so, again, what he is is still not 100% confirmed. It is does seem to be leaning towards the demonic aspect. Uh, though the, and I would probably be leaning towards that as well. Uh, but, uh, demon in what way? Because it's, the, 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 his physiology is weird. Because he can lose limbs, he can lose an arm, he can lose organs, he can lose all that and keep going. And then just eat someone's body part and just, uh, and replace it. Replace it, eat a tongue, you get that tongue. Eat a heart, you replace the heart. Uh, hell, he, and he lost his head in the second movie took some kid's head, put it on, attached it, and it bit in the little, like, uh, um, uh, face hugger looking um, fin collar thing in the back there, uh, you know, attached, and it just morphed into his head. 
So the question is, what the hell is the creeper literally? Like, what part of his body is the creeper? Most people seem to agree. Like, if you, um, uh, what was it? Um, Roanoke Gaming? I love that. First of all, I love his channel. Um, you love this, love his breakdowns. Absolutely. Uh, I, I believe he did do a, uh, Jeepers Creeper episode. It's, it seems that the, that this, like, this weird colored fin thing on the back seems to be like a very central. Like, it seems to be, like, the core of the Creeper, really. This is where the actual Creeper itself exists. Because even losing its head, when the brain in there didn't do anything to slow uh, it slowed him down, sure. But it didn't actually do anything to stop him. It just, it, it slowed him down, and then just, he touched a new head. But that fin on the back, I keep calling it a fin, it's not a fin. A crown, cowl, I can collar. Anyway, it attached onto the head and then morphed it. This tells us that this thing right here might actually be the true creeper, like some sort of parasitic organism that just constantly feeds on individuals. Regardless of what the creeper is, though, what he does is horrifying. He eats people, doesn't matter if it's uh, old, young, or the or um, regular, like, adult age. As long as you have an organ he likes... He will eat you, and he will find you. He has a third nostril to smell fear, or pheromones that are secreted by fear, uh, on his on his nose. Uh, he is immensely strong, again, capable of ripping a human in part. Uh, he also has wings that allow him to fly, talons on his legs. He is durable enough to take Gatling gunfire, this was in the third movie, and just keep going, like, like nothing. He even, even survived getting run over multiple times by a car. Granted, he was limping his ass off uh, when that happened, but um, he did survive it. He also wields multiple weapons, including a shuriken, which does seem to have ruins engraved in it that allows it to kind of home in on a target. Like, it is immensely accurate and hits fast and hard. Which goes to the theory that he is more demonic than anything. Ancient ruins, magic, all that kind of stuff. He also wields a battle axe, which is just a battle axe. I'm sure it probably has some magical properties to it as well, but it is just a battle axe. Um, he's also very intelligent. Like, he's he knows how to, A, he knows how to strategize. He knows how to scare people. He enjoys scaring people. He is, by all accounts, a scary, scary dude. And so, he is a dangerous individual to deal with in the grand scheme of things. Now, who would win in a fight? See, that's... This is a, this is one of those battle of attrition kind of fights. Uh, assuming the Creeper has made his new home in the general swamp area, has been, like, investigating the area during his 23 days, and ends up running into Victor Crowley, maybe chasing some victims. The Creeper kind of just stares, uh, stares at him a little bit, and they're all just, like, freaked out, like, ah! And then Victor Crowley shows up, and they're both having a moment of, okay, you're not human. Like, okay, you're not human. And the girl, the kids get out, and it's like, it's like you, I, it's like, oh, that's, they smell good. I'm gonna have them. You fuck off. Then you know, Victor's like, no, get fuck you. And they clash, and so they start. They try to overpower each other, but physically speaking, they're actually probably comparable to each other. Not overly no one doesn't have a very specific advantage over the other and so you know they're starting to fight however he eventually he probably opens his wings up starts flying has throws uh, get, takes victor from the ground i don't know how victor would handle being up in the air that high what i mean by that is not that he would be like scared of heights or anything i mean because he's because he's basically an earthbound spirit literally I don't know if, like, removing him from the ground in that set, like, jumping around he can do fine. He's still more or less in the swamp. You take him out of the air, does he just disperse and go back into his, um, into his home? I don't know. For the sake of argument, let's say that's not what happens. He drops Victor down. Victor just, ah, and just, he's broken. The creeper just suddenly just, boom, smashes him and, you know, tears his head off. And he goes about his way. But then Victor comes back, and he can even smell, like, he can smell the scent of Victor. Victor clearly would have a scent, and he's like, that's not, it's like, wait a minute, what? And Victor comes back, all of a sudden he gets a hatchet, and the creeper gets a hatchet in the back, and so Victor comes back again, just, and so it's like, and, he's, uh, and it's like, okay, I'll show you what. 
throws some of the mag magic shurikens out. They both land on Victor, who just like tanks it, comes in, he's got a machete. He's got the Balaks. They're clashing. The, the Balaks are pretty easily going to overpower the machete. Again, it's just a better forged weapon. And it's most likely enhanced as well. So they're they're clashing with their um, their strikes. Uh, and, he, and again, the creeper just keeps cutting him down. But he keeps getting back up. Uh, or keeps coming back. Now, the big issue ultimately that's going to come down in this fight actually comes out of the fact that the Creeper doesn't have a way to stop him from coming back. He's not going to just understand what he is and go and destroy his home or something like that. And he also, despite the fact he is still very durable, still capable of taking damage. He is still capable of, he, even though he's got a massive regenerative healing factor, is contingent on the ability of him eating individuals' body parts. Without that, he actually doesn't heal on his own, at least not very quickly. Um, the Creeper, like I said, has the ability to regenerate any part of his body by devouring a similar part of the victim. And in, in this manner, he survived for centuries, replacing deteriorating body parts by feeding on humans or replacement parts. Um, this ability also grants him a form of healing, as the Creeper can discard injured uh, main body part. Yeah, but I, like I, I'm reading that verbatim, by the way. It still goes with the whole notion of hood, by the way. That's what it's referred to, at least in this case. The weird clawed finned hood. Um, uh, so, uh, that uh, thing on the back of his neck. So, unfortunately, in a battle of attrition, while I like the Creeper more, he's a cooler uh, kind of individual, because he's, there's there's mystery to what the Creeper still is. There's still mystery to be found there. There's no mystery with Victor Crowley. He's literally just a raging spirit killing people. That's it. There's nothing. There's no nuance there. But, unfortunately, if if the Creeper... Even if the Creeper does catch up with those kids that I threw out in the original scenario here and starts eating their bodyguards to regenerate, it's just going to drag the fight out longer. Now, the Creeper is smart enough to understand if he can't win a fight. Granted, he's never really come up against someone who does who could beat him straight out, but he is smart enough to understand when this something is just not worth it. So he's either going to die in the fight, like eventually he's going to die, or because he's just going to get whittled down and whittled down, and eventually he's just not going to be able to regenerate for anything. By the way, we don't know if the creeper could, in theory, um, survive by eating an animal's body part. I don't think it's ever been. Um, brought up if he could in a pinch like eat a dog's heart and get the dog's heart instead or eat a like a i don't know we're in the swamp an alligator's liver and get an alligator's liver or something like that i don't know clip an alligator tail onto him or something like that. i don't know but it's or hell an alligator head that would be kind of fun <clears throat> like the alligator head goes like the mandibles and stuff like that um actually he doesn't have mandibles that's the that's the hood <clears throat> but uh i don't know if he could do that in a pinch i don't think it's ever been stated even if he could, though, you, there's a reason you stay consistent with the species you're eating, because each species is different in terms of what they are capable of doing and how they're capable of, uh, you know, doing it. So, yeah, I, look, I gotta go with uh, Victor Crowley in this fight. In a battle of attrition, the Victor's gonna win, simply on the grounds that even though he'll take more damage than, uh, and I think more easily than the Creeper will. It's kind of irrelevant because he, the Creeper just doesn't have a permanent way of putting him down. Now, again, throw Victor Crowley at something that is capable of destroying the entire area, like uh, like AOEing it, like um, Nitro from the uh, from Marvel, or hell, throw Godzilla in there. Well, then, yeah, Godzilla wins, like because he can just wipe out the entire area, and Victor doesn't have any way of putting him down. And he, Godzilla can literally just nuke the nuke his home, and then he's kind of effed. <clears throat> or you go out a cosmic being that just destroys the planet, and there you go. But that's like that's ridiculous kind of who it wins right there. This one is very, I think, evenly matched. It's simply a battle of attrition, and in the battle of attrition, I go Victor Crowley. Until then, though, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Have